no county. Campaign 2012 news now. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker has a new title this morning. He's the first governor in U.S. history to survive a recall election. Here's Walker after proclaiming victory. Walker came under fire for slashing collective bargaining rights for most unions. He defeated Milwaukee's Democratic Mayor Tom Barrett. And joining us now to break down the impact of Walker's win is political analyst Stephen Caliendo. So what does this signal for states and for their unions? I think the th this is really a manifestation of a longer narrative about labor unions in the United States. It dates back at least to 1981 when Ronald Reagan threatened to fire the, the air traffic controllers. And so the, I, I look at my students and they, and they don't have an understanding of labor unions as sort of the bastions of holding on to the middle class. They think about them as corrupt and, and as institutions that have been outdated. And, and I think exit polls showed last night that about 30 percent of union workers voted for Scott Walker yesterday. And so that narrative has, has taken hold. And let's talk about those exit polls because they also show that that Wisconsin would go Obama's way come November. Explain that. Right. Well, it's you know, there's a difference between how folks look at local elections and state elections and how they vote for president. Part of it is the uh, the ability to uh, connect with voters. I think that Mitt Romney is going to have a harder time connecting with middle class Wisconsin voters uh, than Scott Walker does, for instance. And so it's still a blue state for the most part. I mean, the Democrats uh, still count on Wisconsin as a state, but last night has to make them a little bit nervous. Okay. What do you think Obama's message needs to be? Well, I think the message needs to be that he is uh, looking to make the economy stronger from the national perspective mm -hmm. and, and really tr try to detach it a little bit from the state issues and the issues that were, uh, the folks were thinking about when they cast ballots yesterday. He'll be able to connect with folks. He'll spend time up there. This is not a write-off for the Obama campaign, for sure. But they kept their distance from this race, for they sure. They did, mm -hmm. and, 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 and from their perspective, that was a smart thing to do, although yeah. if you ask the Democrats in Wisconsin, they'd say they probably wish you would have stopped by. Absolutely. Thank you for All that, right, Stephen.